I'm informed by the HSC uh, that Ochling is currently funded by the Ballymun Regeneration Group. While I submitted proposals for funding to the Health Service and Addiction Service, Health Service Executive Addiction Service, the HSC was not in a position to offer funding uh, to the group this year due to competing priorities and available resources. I understand that Ochling has met with the Health Service Executive as they are a local service and uh, they have been advised to contact the local addiction service and the Drugs Task Force. Uh, Ballymore House, uh, Barrymore House is a residential detox service run by the HSC itself. The HSC adv has advised that due to staffing issues the programme was temporarily suspended. However, they are in the process of recruiting new councillors and plan to re-establish the residential programme in August. The remit of the Drugs Task Force was extended to include the problem of alcohol misuse last year. In view of the central role that the task forces play in coordinating the response to substance misuse at a local level. The Dorm to Counts Action Plan 2014-2015 includes provision of €1 million Euros for a specific substance misuse measure. Uh, over €41,600 in funding will be available to every task force in the country for a range of activities aimed at raising awareness of, of alcohol-related harm and changing attitudes to alcohol in our society. Thanks, Minister. No, I don't know where to start. Um, <coughs> first of all, people who work in A&E and they see people presenting with alcohol-related issues. Sometimes the person with the alcohol issue is completely and utterly out of it. Sometimes they come in with physical injuries or mental health issues. Now, what's to happen to them at that point? In both Bowland and Matter, there is a referral onto this community-based programme. So they can take up those people, because otherwise they're going to be, um, they, they finish whatever treatment they're getting in the hospital, whether it's on a drip for some hours, or the injuries will be patched up, and then they're back out. And they will continue in the addiction, unless there is a point where there is an intervention. At the moment, there is that intervention happening in Bowland Hospital, and they can link them in with a community-based programme up in Ballymun. So this community group up in Ballymun are doing all of the things that you're talking about here. Now, I would suggest that the HSE could fund them if the HSE addiction service hadn't been cut 2.5 million. So what they're doing at the moment, because they're relying on donations, for 27,500, which is what they have at the moment, they are employing therapists and they are fully accredited and fully qualified therapists. And this is the service that they're providing. So my question will be, what about those 74 clients and their families who are availing of the service now? They're in recovery, they're doing well. If they continue in recovery, they're not going to cost the state any more. But if they don't continue with the recovery programme that they're in, the dangers are of relapsing, and we know what the effects that will be. I mean, I used to chair in the North Inner City Drugs Task Force. I'm back on it now. So I know the pressures on them because alcohol is included. I mean, 41,600 a year to each of them. What are they going to do with that? And I mean, even the 1.1 million for a specific substance misuse measure. I mean, this is a, a project that has been working, seen to work with people, getting people into recovery, supporting them in recovery, and we're, we're not talking about massive amounts of, amounts of money. So my question is, again, these people who are in recovery, doing very well, and their families and their communities getting the benefit of all of that, what is going to happen to them now because of a lack of funding? Mr. Yeah, I appreciate the deputy's uh, passion and interest in this issue. Uh, these are, of course, local services and ones that I'm not uh, familiar with, and it's not possible for me to uh, get involved um, personally uh, in the funding of individual local services. What I am I'm informed, though, is, is that Barrymore House um, uh, is recruiting and does intend to re-establish its residential programme. Uh, in August, uh, which isn't that far away, it is difficult to recruit at the moment, and, and sometimes uh, that, that, that that causes services to be suspended. In relation to Ochling, it was, I'm told, previously funded by the Ballymun Regeneration Group, um, and the best thing for them to do would be would be to contact them again and seek funding, uh, or seek funding from the Drugs Task Force. The HC obviously has its own addiction services. Thanks, Minister.